गुड इवनिंग टू द एस्पिरेंट्स ऑफ द जेसीजे 2022 यू आर वेलकम टू माय क्लास करीबू साना इन किस्वाइली एंड टुडे दैट यू आर गोइंग टू डील द स्पेसिफिक रिलीफ एक्ट मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट टर्न गोस टू द कोलिकोंडा शरद बाबू बी रेडी शरद बाबू नाउ वी स्विच ओवर टू द कोलिकोंडा शरद बाबू एंड ही इज गोइंग टू डील द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन यस the first question is the specific relief act 1963 came into effect from option a 1st january 1963 option b 26 january 1963 option c scroll up sir yeah option c 1st march 1963 option d 1st february 1963 option a 1st january 1963 1st march 1963 option c 1st march 1963 option c is the right answer 1st march 1963 second quick relief act 1963 is the product of option a 8th or a that is specific relief act of 1877 option b 9th report of law in 77 option c tenth commission of commission of india on sri of 1877 d none of the above the option b ninth report of law commission of india on sri 1877 option a option b is the right answer ninth report of law commission of india on sri of 1877 third question is the words and expressions used in the specific relief act but not defined in the act have a general clause act b indian contract act meaning as property act d civil procedure code a general clause act so transfer of and b b option b is the right answer contract now fourth question sir scroll up in the contract indian contract act. which section of the relief act 1963 relief to be granted only for enforcing civil rights or not for enforcing penal laws option section a section 4 2. option b section 3 option c section 4 option d Section five. Section four. Option C. Section four. Section four. My sincere request to the participant: Let the host will finish the A, B, C, D option. Then you can shoot, but not in the middle. Let me answer. C. Sec. Section four. Four is the right answer. Fifth question: Find out specific relief can be granted. A. For enforcing Indian civil and for enforcing are not for enforcing civil rights. C only for enforcing penal penal law. D for rights and penal law. A and A. Option A for enforcing, enforcing civil individual civil rights and not for enforcing a penal law. Yes, option A is the right answer. Sixth question. specific relief can be given in the form of a injunction b stay c specific remedy d all, all of, the above. Above. Yes, all of the above option d it may be or stay or specific remedy whatever it is the seventh question specific relief act is a remedial in nature b protective in nature c subordinate law d all of the above all of the option a remedial in nature option a option d remedial in nature all of this yes all of this yeah. now now eighth question scroll up sir no you do you did not give the answer for the seventh question yes sir i have given seventh question d d is the right 
Are you sure? Yes, all of these. Yes, yes, I have given. So, option D is your answer. But you said you have the key. Yes, yes. To my, to my knowledge, it is a protective in nature. No, sir, I have thoroughly checked. Okay, okay. If it is, if it is thoroughly checked, don't know, it's okay. Right. Eighth question. Now, eighth question is, the basis of specific relief is A, a law of equity, B, common law, C, Roman law, D, all of the open. Law of equity. Law of equity. Option A. Option A is the right answer, law. Now, ninth question is, the relief provided of equity. The specific relief act is A, discretionary, B, mandatory, Statutory option D. Option A, discretionary. Option A is the right answer, discretionary. Now, 10th question is, scroll up, sir. Scroll up, sir. Yes, yeah, it's like proves that there is a breach. It proves that there is a breach of contract in immovable property. Option A, the the court shall grant, yes, sir. The plaintiff court has discretion to grant or research. Option C, superior court's discretion necessary. D, none of these. Option A, specific performance grant a decree for. Option B is the right answer. The court has discretion to grant or refuse such for the court. Option B. Now, 11th question is scroll up, sir. Yes. Under the specific relief act, a suit for recovery of possession can be filed in respect of mobile property B, only in respect of immobile property C, in respect of both mobile property D, neither mobile nor immobile property C. Okay. Both C, mobile and immobile. In respect. Yes. Option C is the right in respect of both mobile and immobile property. Now, 12th question is what is the meaning of principle of quietimate that is in italics in the context of law of injunction? Option A some future probable injury to the right or interests of a person. Option B, some past injury to the right or interest of a person. Option C, some capable of being estimated in money. Very capable of being estimated in money. Option A. Option A. Option C. Option A is the right answer. Some future probable injury to the interest of a person. That is principle of Six, to implement the matrix, who said the law ought to assure me everything which is mine without forcing me to act, although I have no particular objections to them. I, I unquote. Option A, Karl Marx. Option B, Austin. Option this lies, this act is based on one of the following quotations of eminent person. Option C. Option B. Option B is the right answer. It is Bentham. Bentham. Now, 14th question. Which of the following is not correct? A specific relief may be granted in any one of the following ways. Option A, by ordering a party to do the act which he is obliged to. Option B, by declaratory decrees. Option C, by taking ownership of certain property and delivery to claimant. Option D, by injunctions. Option C. Option C, by taking ownership of certain property and delivery to claimant. What would have been the correct answer? All of three also 
correct answer, sir. Ah, your your answer is correct. C. C is false statement, but uh, it it should have been taking possessorship of certain property and delivery to claimant. In by taking so option C is the right answer. It is the false statement. It is not correct. Now fifteen question. In a suit for specific performance of contract, commencement of limitation starts from the date of issuance of notice. Refusing to perform as part of contract was decided by Supreme Court in dash A. Huapa Irapa Balari versus Basava. Option B. Shekuntala versus Narayan Gundoji Chavan. Option C. Sugani versus Ramesh Pradas. Option D, none of the above cases. Option B. Option A, sir. Yes, option, option B, B is the right. Shikuntala versus Narayan Gundoji Chavan. Now, 16th question. In which one of the following unregistered agreement with options of sale consideration? And not mentioning period to complete the sale transaction, it was held that it was not an enforceable document. Option A or Ghanam versus Subhadra. Option C, Subhadra. Option C, Asudam Sadra. Option D, none of the above. Option B. Jyoti Ram versus Bhagat Singh. Option A is the right answer. R. Dhanam versus Sivadra. Bhagat Singh. Or, that is, uh, feedback is also given section 9. Defenses respecting suits for relief based on contract, except as otherwise provided herein, wherein any relief is claimed under this chapter 2. Actually, the chapter two in respect of a contract, the person against whom the relief is claimed may plead by way of defense on any ground which is available to him under any law relating to contract. It was the failure of corporation to provide amenities such as roads, water, landscape, and under section 2A of Specific Relief Act. Obligation includes every duty enforceable by law was decided in dash A. Cobnell Town Municipal Council versus Mahebala. Option B. B.S. Baliga versus Mangalore City Corporation. Option C. Subhash Market Association versus Municipal Corporation. Option D. Municipal Corporation Chandigarh versus Shanti Kunj Investment Private Limited. Option D. Yes, option D is the right. Shanti Kunj Investment Private Limited. The answer Municipal Corporation Chandigarh. Was... Now, 18th question. What recourse is available to this person without his consent of removable property otherwise than in due course of law? Option A. He may be suit this person thereof. Recover position title that may be set up in such suit for any person not with or any person claiming through him may by suit recover there not with standing any other title that may be set up in such suit. Option C by mortgage suit recover position thereof the title that may be any other. May be set up in such suit. Option D, any suit recover question thereof, notwithstanding any other title that may B. be set up in such suit. Option B, with Option B. Option B is the right answer, yes. He or any person through whom he has been in question or any person claiming through recover question thereof, notwithstanding any be set up in such Yes, question, sir. 19th question. In which circumstances 
any person having the position or control of a particular article of movable property of which he is owner may be compelled specifically to deliver to the person entitled to its immediate position. Yeah, when it would be extremely difficult to ascertain the actual damage caused by its loss. Option B, when the thing claimed is held by the defendant as the agent or trustee of the plaintiff. C, when compensation in money would not afford the plaintiff adequate relief for the loss of the thing claimed. D, all of the above. D, all of the above. Option C, D, Option C, all of the above. D, all of the above. D, all of the above. Option D is the right answer. Now, the question is section 35 of the specific provides option A when rescission may be adjudged or refused, B effect of declaration, C what instruments may be partially cancelled, option D perpetual injunction when granted. Option B effect of declaration. Yes, option B is the right answer effect of declaration. So, yes, thank you very much. Kurukonda, I think your turn is over, it seems. Is it? Yes, sir. Are you ready, Motamari Srividya? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, please go ahead. Under section, first question, under section 6. Subsection 2, Clause A of the Specific Relief Act 1963. No suit shall be bought after expiry of a period of dash from the date of disposition. Option A, 6 months. Option B, 1 year. Option C, 2 years. Option D, 3 years. Uh, 6 months is the correct answer. Yes, yes, one months. of the important sections. Repeat the answer. Option A, 6 months. This is the correct answer. Uh, second question. A person entitled to possession of the given option for the same in the manner described by the option A, the specific relief act 1963, option B, the code of civil procedure 1908, option C, the Indian contract act 1872, option D, none of these. Option B, the code of civil procedure. Option B, yes. Option B, code of civil procedure is the correct answer. Third question. The general principles on which the perpetual injunction could be granted under the specific relief in option A, section 37, option 8 of act are contained. Option 38, section 38 is the correct answer regarding option how the preventive relief is granted by the court option a at the discretion or at the discretion of the court which will option court by injunction option c both a and b are correct option d none of the above c fourth question yes options both a and b are correct uh, fifth question when a when an injunction cannot be granted, option A, B are correct. Any person to the restraint in a criminal matter, option B, to prevent the contract, performance of which could any proceed forced, option C, to restrain any person from up to any legislative victory, option D, all the options are correct. Option, option D, 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 all of the above. Correct. Uh, yes, option D is the correct answer. All the options are correct. Sixth question. The specific performance of a contract shall be enforced by the court. Option A. Subject to the provisions in the Indian Contract Act 1872. Two, two, uh, two. Option D. The provisions Option C. Option C. In which circumstances? Which is the right answer for the sixth question? 
or person having sir seven in which circumstances any person having the possession or control of a particular verbal prop compelled say the person into its immediate possession of questions when it would be extremely difficult specifically and be when the thing claimed is held by the defendant not a recent or trustee of the deputed option c Depreciation in money would not affect the plaintiff. The thing claimed or opposed by all of the above. Option D. Option D. Our control. Declare it again. First of option D. All of the option D. It lost. Option D. All of eighth question. Specific relief can be granted only for the purpose of option A, enforcing individual civil rights, and not measure purpose of the enforcing a penal law. I think this is also repeated. Yes, ma'am. Ninth question. And upon the merits of the suit, is thereby a injunction will be granted, joined from the ascertain the decree or in. Are from the commission of an act which could be contrary to the rights of the plaintiff. Question, option A. Yes, op both A and option A are not possible. Option A, perpetual. Option A. Option A is the answer. Perpetual. Please read the host, the total A, B, C, D options, then you show. Yes. Your voice is breaking, Smithia. Repeated it, sir. Okay, go to the tenth question. Yes. Sir, actually, my voice is clear, sir. But break it. What is it in your voice? With your network, I think. Tenth question. Okay. In a contrary, may sue to have it. Any person. Yes, yes. Its rescission may be where the contract is unlawful for the cause. Apparent on its face, and the defendant is more to blame. Be where the contrary is voidable or the contable is the plain. Option. C, both A and B are correct. Option D, none of the above. Option C, both option A and B, both B are B. correct. Yes, option C, both A and B are correct for the 10th question. 11th question, injunctions are such as are to be continued until a specific time or until a further order of the court and they may be granted at any stage of the suit and are regulated. Option A, perpetual. Option B, temporary. Option C, both A and B are correct. Option D, none by the Code of Civil Procedure 19th question. What is the right answer for the 11th question? Option B, temporary injunction. Option D. Option B, temporary Okay. back B. Yes, sir. 12th question. The following contracts cannot be specifically enforced Option A, a contract, the performance of which involves the performance of union's duty. The court cannot supplies option, option B, a contract, the performance of occasional duty, which the social contract, the performance the per involves the performance of a periodic duty, which the court option. cannot supervise. Option D, none of the above. Uh, option A. Option a. Yes, option A is the correct yeah. answer. Per the performance of which involves the performance of a continuous duty, which the court cannot supervise. Thirteenth question: When any temporary appeal is allowed against the order or decree passed in any criminal fact, nine suit instituted under for any order suit instituted under this section are any 
only be allowed by this power section C will be manifest be allowed be allowed by option D. The court who have given the order or decree option D. Option A. Yes, option B. Appeal is allowed. Option B. Appeal can can you say which section and option section number six clause section six. B is allowed. Two. Class three, section six, oh. class three. Sir, clause three is the correct answer. Two is regarding six months, and the suit cannot be filed against the government. Yes. Fourteenth one. Correct answer is option B. Fourteenth question. No substituted performance of contract shall be undertaken unless and who is on B. Such breach has a notice in rights. Of not less than dash to the party in breach calling upon him to perform the contract within such time as specified in the notice. To do this by the third party, our own agency. Twenty days, option two days, option four, forty days, forty ten. Not less than thirty days. Option B. Breach calling upon his performance. Fifteenth question. Yes, sir, please scroll. Can be thirty days is correct. Correct answer. Fifteen. Is there any time limit? If any purpose of immovable property is in due course of law for filing suit to recover the possession thereof. Option A. No suit under Section Six of Specific Relief Act, nineteen sixty-three, shall be after the expiry of six months from the date of dis. Or again, B. No time limit is prescribed. Option C. Within a reasonable time limit, possession may be filed. Option D. None of the above. Uh, option A. Yes, the government. Option D. Yes, ma'am. Option A is option the correct answer. Option A is the correct answer. Yes, yes. Sixteenth question. Deals. With option option C, prevent you relief. Option D, none. Yes. Decree. Prevent you relief. Is regarding Part Three of Specific Relief Act. Option C is the correct answer. Seventeenth question. A suit for possession section of Specific Relief Decree. Act can be filed within option A three years, option B six years, or any year. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Twelve years is the correct answer. Option D is the correct answer. It, yes. yes. With eighteenth question, under specific of date, possession can be filed. Option A, to if not, or for property. Option B, only in respect to an immovable property. Option C, B, option D, option C, none. Option C, both the end. Option D, 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 Early stage of the suit. Option B at any stage of the case. At the case. Option B. Option B at any stage. 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 Option B at any When he is weaker, option C. When he is malafide in this intention, option D. None. Option A. Any other? Option A is the correct answer. When he has the relief, cannot be granted. Twenty-first question, section twenty-six of specific relief. Fix another. Any other relief? Discovery of mistake or fraud to be option A six months, option B three months, option C one year, option D none. Option C one year. Option C one year. Option A six months. Option A six months. Which is the right answer? It's none, sir. Option D is the correct answer. But say. Option D is the correct answer. Section twenty six about when instruments may be ratified. When the participant say something, and if it is the right, you can say right. If the it is wrong, you can say wrong. Second option you can say. 
Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, clear, sir. Okay. Is it over? It's an enabling provision. Section 26. Yes, completed. Okay. Thank you very much. Motamari yes. Sri Vidya, it is my yes. turn. Thank you, sir. Shall I proceed? Shall I proceed? Paper keeper Lekaga now. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir, when not paper you are like I am, huh? you are seeking, I could hear your voice. Hey, Baba, so kum, the bazaar bolta, mute, mute, uh, Venunath. Huh? Okay, first question. Preventive relief is granted at the dash of the court by injunction, temporary or perpetual. A, duty. B, obligation. C, absent discretion. D, mandatory. What is the blank? Discretion. Answer is? C. Discretion. Discretion. C. Discretion is the right word in the first question. The first question answer is discretion. The second question. The following which one is not kinds of the remedies may be granted by a court under the provisions of the Specific Relief Act 1963. Option A. Recovery of the position of the property. Option B, specific performance of the contract. Option C, ratification of the instruments. Option D, rescission of the contract. Option B, specific performance of contract. Run. Option B, C. Option C, ratification. What is the right word for the ratification of the instruments? What should be the right word that should be there? It is rectification of instruments. It is not the ratification of instrument. It is the rectification of instrument. Hence, the second question, wrong answer is that C, ratification is not, it is the rectification. Is it clear? Say yes. Say yes. Yes. Good. I appreciate. I appreciate. Third question, the following which one is not kinds of remedies may be granted by a court under the provision of the Specific Relief Act 1963. Option A, cancellation of instruments. Option B, declarative decrease. Option C, injunctions. Option D, writs. Say loudly. Rit, rit. Option D, rit. Option D is not connected with the third question, but other three are very much connected with the third question. Then the fourth question answer question is specific relief to be granted only for enforcing individual dash rights, not for enforcing penal laws. Option A, criminal. Option B, civil. Option C, economic. Option D, political. Civil. No murmuring, say loud voice. The right answer for the fourth question is B, civil rights, not for the enforcing the penal laws. That is the answer for the fourth question. B, civil. Is it clear? Yeah. Very good. I appreciate. I appreciate. Fifth question. Specific relief is uh, legalized for performing a contract when dash compensation for failing to complete contractual obligation is not enough. Option A, financial. Option B, economic. Option C, pecuniary. Option D, monetary. D, monetary. The right answer for the black is D, monetary. Not pecuniary, not economic, not financial. The sixth question is the specific relief within amend within parenthesis amendment act 2018. The amending act has eliminated the discretion of the courts by entirely substituted section 10 and section dash of the act. Option A 15, option B 20, option C 25, option D 30. Uh, option B. B. Option B is the right answer. That is a 20. Section 20 of the Act. That is the sixth question. Right answer is B. 
20. Seventh question. The specific relief within parenthesis amendment act of 2018 amended the section 10 stipulates the specific performance of the contract shall be enforceable subject to the provision of section dash and section 16. Option A, 11. Option B, 12. Option C, 13. Option D, 14. Uh, it's 11, section 11. Run. Voice is breaking. Say loudly. Option D is the right answer. Option D is the right answer. That is the 14 is the right answer for the seventh question. Now eighth, match the following part A section and explanations are given in the part B column. Part A, section 20, second section 20, capital A, third section 20, capital B, fourth section 20, capital C. In the right hand side, part B, special codes, expeditious disposal of suits, substituted performance of contract, Infrastructure relating to the infrastructure project. Options A, 1B, 2A, 3D, 4C, B, 1C, 2B, 3A, 4D, C, 1C, 2D, 3A, 4B, D, 1D, 1D 2C, 3A, 4B. Which one is the right answer? Option B. Option B. Run. Option D. Option D, sir. Option B. 2. D, 2, C. 2, B. The right answer for this question is... 20, C, special. C. 1, C, 2, D, 3, A, 4, B. Here feedback I have given. Section 20, substituted performance of contract. Section 20, capital A, special provision for the contract related to the infrastructure project. Section 20, capital B, special codes. And section 20C, capital C, expedious disposal of suits. So that is the mass. The, and the right answer is C, 1C, 2D, 3A, 4B. Next, in which chapter only one section of Specific Relief Act is there. Only one section in the chapter. A. Chapter 2. B. Chapter 3. C. Chapter 4. D. Chapter 5. Now you shoot. Option B. Option B. Option B. Chapter 3. There is only one section there. Okay. Tenth question. How many sections are repealed in the Specific Relief Act 1963. Option A, 1. Option B, 2. Option C, 3. Option D, 4. Option B, 2. Two, two sections. The right answer is, sir, I don't know the right, said. It is the two sections. The second question is, Option next question three, is, three, what are those sections which are revealed in the SR Act 1963? One, one, Option A, 40, 41. Option B, 41, 42. Option C, 42, 43. Option D, 43, 44. Option D, 44. Answer is right. It is a 43 and 44. The last two sections are repealed in the Specific Relief Act. That is the 12th question. Can anyone unmute and read? How many definitions are given? 63 only in SR Act 1963. Option only five only three. Option B. Actually, the question is the definition in which section it is given. Option C only five. What are the how many how many definitions are given? Four, four, four. four, four. Uh, there is a 2A, 2B, 2C, 2D, 2E. Then, right answer is? Five. 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 Five, five. five definitions are given in the section 2 of the Special Relief Act. Yes, any question? 
Shall I show you the question? Shall I show you the answer here? Because already I put it there here. You can, you can see it here. Definition. How many are given? A, B, C, D, E. Shall I proceed? Shall I proceed? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. But you read, but you read six. No, it's the five only. Two, six. Five, five, five. But anyway, that anyway that I beg your pardon if I made a mistake. Agreed? Uh, Agreed. So now where we are gone? Uh, it's this okay. is somebody else, not mine. Mine is here. Okay. In which section the saving board is mentioned in the SR Act 1970? What does it say? You read that now. <laughs> Venunath, what is what is do you want to ask anything? Uh, section three. Venunath, do you want three. to ask anything? <laughs> No, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. Then why you are? Uh, okay. Thirteenth question. In which section the saving word is mentioned in the Act 1973? Section A, section 3. Let me read the options. Please, I'm getting the sound. Why do not mute it? I don't know who are uh, unmuted. They are speaking. I could it is not from my end. My voice, my voice is a male voice. You can hear female voice. I say mute all first. Okay. Uh, now we can make it out. So in the 13th question, right answer is section 3, the saving word is used there in the SR Act. 14th question, the code in this case of dash opinated, op opinionated, the, although the specific performance will not be provided, the respondent must receive some amount of the compensation for the activities of the petitioner under section 21 of the Specific Relief Act 1963, which lays down awards of compensation either as an addition or a substitution of the specific performance. There are many cases are there, but you cannot remember it. And hence I have given not the option because I already have shown that. Spandana, you saw the feedback. Now you tell me. It is the K. Narendra versus uh, Rivera Apartments that the case law where this section 21 of the specific life act which lays down the award of the compensation either as an addition or a substitution on the specific performance is given over there. Question. Ne next question. I believe it is the 15th question if I not be mistaken because I did not number it yet. Alongside this it was in the case of Dash where the court observed the specific performance can be refused on the grounds of difficulties, even if difficulties arise after the contract is con concluded. These difficulties may affect the defendant rather than the terms of the contract. And for these scenarios, the plaintiff will be no way held responsible, in which case light is dealt. Anyone? It is very difficult. KC, case Vidya Sagar and others versus Vairavan. That is the case law. It is dealt in that manner. Now, <coughs> excuse me. 16th question. Can anyone unmute and read? 16th question. This one, which I am highlighting. Anyone can unmute and read? 16th question. This is the one such discretion properly, but this discretion should be in relevant situations with sound, reasonable court case or this, this was observed. Stole up, sir. Yeah, because answer we is here. Given I have no given the answer directly. We are giving no options. This is the Ruth case. Mary uh, David and others. Luis Chinnaya versus Aragya Swami and others. others. That is the case law. Luis. Sixteenth question is So these are all the. Chinnaya. 
Okay. Sixteenth is over. Now let us go to the seventeenth question. Let me read the seventeenth question. In the case of dash, the Gohati High Court discussed the meaning and application of Section fourteen of the Specific Relief Act, nineteen sixty-three, which talks about the contracts which are not specifically enforceable. The issue in this case revolves around the subscription of the telephone by the petitioner company. And the case law name is Gaudi case law. Parag Engineering Works versus Union of India. In the Parag Nineteen sixty three, which talks about the contracts which are not specifically enforceable. The issue in this case revolves around the subscription of we are not able to by the voice. petitioner company. And that is the seventeenth question. And the eighteenth question is in this case, what case I will show you that later. In this case, law, yes. The respondent had filed a suit for specific performance on the part of the appellant for failure to perform the sale deed according to the contract entered by the both the within the specified time period as the appellant was not capable of enough to pay the amount which he was subject to according to the contract's terms the respondent had paid on behalf of the appellant. And it is observed in the Gobind Ram versus Gyanchan. I repeat, Govind Ram versus Gyanchan, the respondent had filed a suit for the specific performance on the part of the appellant for the failure to perform the sale deed according to the contract entered by the both within the specified time period as the appellant was not capable of capable enough to pay the amount which he was subject to according to the contract's terms the respondent had paid on behalf of the appellant. That is absurd in that case law. So that is the 18th. Now the 19th case law. These are all the cases. Just uh, by luck, uh, by chance, it may appear, may not appear, but at least you could have an idea. The cases also can be asked. The case of Dash, in one such case of Specific Relief Act 1963, where a relationship between the Act and Power of Attorney was drawn. The parties involved in this case carried out a Power of Attorney, thereby empowering the empowering a person to execute a partition deed in respect or a property that has been specified. Number one, mental ability of the parties. Number two, the execution of parties deeds involved properties exceeding what was mentioned by the holder of the power of attorney. The power was therefore abused by the attorney holder. It is observed in the Clara Aurora D. Braganka versus Silvia Angela Alvarez. Can you read this case law once again? Anyone? Which I highlighted. So that I could know that you are hearing me and I am hearing you. Participants. Clara Aurora D. Braganka versus Silvia Angela Alvarez. Good, good. That means you are hearing me and I am hearing you. Is it? The another case, the case of Dash is of relevance for its decided the fate of Section 6 of the Specific Relief Act 1963. The case surrounds the fact which says that the plaintiff a company which runs hotels at different locations provided the defendant with a space on leave and license for the a stipulated time of the 12 years. Under these conditions, the defendant agreed to provide the plaintiff with a loan of certain amount. In the meantime, the plaintiff had written a letter to the defendant asking for the vacating the space and the expiry of the time frame has been provided. What is the name of the case law? They have given the lease for the 12 years. Of course, when the expiry time is there, they want to have been provided for a vacation. I mean, vacated. 
the plaintiff had written a letter to the defendant asking for the vacating the space on the expiry of the term. Time. What is the time? 12 years. Frame has been provided. It is observed in the East India Hotels Limited versus Syndicate Bank. That is the case law. Next case law. A recent judgment passed by the Supreme Court of India in the case of Dash highlighted the court's discretion in granting the relief of specific performance has been discussed in previous cases as well. Specific performance can only be issued in exceptional cases for being entitled to get the relief of specific performance. The agreed party in a contract must have fulfilled all necessary conditions and must also ensure that there are no loopholes on his part. Surinder Kaur versus Bahadur Singh. I repeat, Surinder Kaur versus Bahadur Singh and the above statement is made. This is the statement which I highlighted. What is the numbering which I have given? Because here numbering we have given 19th, that is, this is 28th. And now what I read is go to the court with clean hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, these are all the places. And uh, this is 22nd question. The Supreme Court of India, in the case of Dash, opion, I think this I already did, opionated that he has achieved. The relief provided by the court in terms of the specific performance, no, is of an equitable nature. It is the responsibility of the party who is invoking the jurisdiction of the court to show that he was not responsible in bringing state of affairs. His acts were not carried out by using unfair means the handling of the parties involved have been carried out in an upright and fair manner. It is observed in the Mrs. Gujarat Bottling Company Limited versus the, the Coca-Cola Company and others. That was the case law. So the next case law is 22nd that I read it and 23rd case law, I mean question is, in the case of Dash, the Supreme Court of India took a view that if a suit regarding the disposition is filed, by the party, the only fact that needs to be proved by the party before the court is that he is entitled to the title of that particular property. Therefore, the title of the property should be proved before the court. The proving of the very title of the property will further initiate the proving of other necessary items as well. That is the Srimati Gita Rani Paul versus Debiendra Kundu Elias Debiendra. So that is the Another case law, 23rd case law, we made it out. So, why I am reading all those cases means, at least when you read the facts of the case or the principle held, and if you happen to see in the option, the four options, you can trick it or you can shoot at the bullseye. That's my intention. So, 24th is the Supreme Court of India in the case of once again, took into the consideration the provision of section 16, subsection 3 of the Specific Relief Act 1963, the plaintiff in this case entered into an agreement of sale with the defendant. The plaintiff had to alienate the property in the city of Madras in turn of consideration of certain amount. The plaintiff paid a certain amount as an advance and also agreed to provide the rent each month. That is observed in the NP Tirug Trigunanam versus R.J. Mohan Rao. I repeat, N.P. Tirug Trigunanam versus Dr. R.J. Mohan Rao. N.P. Trigunanam versus yeah. Dr. R.J. Mohan Rao. Yes, you are right. Trigunanam. Yes, N.P. Trigunanam versus Dr. R.J. Mohan Rao. So find the odd man out from the following. Or find four that is the one is false among them the statement which is given below so now a which is adman out you have to find it out a the specific relief act 1963 is a very special comprehensive and practical act that aims to secure an agreement entered by two parties b it is then a procedural statute rather than a substantive subjective one the provisions of the act are promising in nature with a taste of reality. C. The act aims in securing the justice in its truest sense. Several judgments passed by the courts 
in our country have referred to different sections of the act in order to decide the relief to be provided to the aggrieved party. D. The, the act works towards the bringing in mutuality between the two parties involved in, in the agreement. It is more than just providing a relief to the parties and therefore the usage of act is also restricted to certain exceptional cases only. Which is the wrong statement among the four? Sir, it is very difficult to find it out, sir. But we have to read it because such a nature of question can also be asked. That's my point. The first is the specific relief act 1963 is a very special, yes, definitely comprehensive, yes, and practical act that aims to secure an agreement entered by the two parties. I am sure this is very much correct. And B, it is a procedural statute rather than the subject one. Yes, it is a procedural one. The provision of the act are promising in nature with a taste of reality. Yes, it is also true. C, this act aims in securing justice in its truest sense. Several judgments passed by the courts in our country have referred to the different sections of the act in order to decide the relief to be provided to the agreed party. Yes. And here the lacuna is there. Can you find it out? What is the wrong statement here? What is the word that should be proper word? The act works towards bringing in mutuality between the two parties involved in the agreement. It is more than just providing relief to the parties and therefore the usage of act is also restricted to certain exceptional cases only. And here only the lacunae. What is that lacunae? Can you any make it out? It is a wrong statement. Why it is a wrong statement? Can anyone make it out? Say, Pasan, are you hearing me? It's a Pasan, sir. See, if you just closely observe it, all contracts are agreements, but all agreements are not contracts. Is it clear? Yes. yes. So here, what I didn't know, the act works towards the bringing in mutuality between the two parties involved in the agreement. It is not in the agreement, it is in the contract. Did you see the feedback now? The contract which highlighted in the red color. Did you see it? Say Only it. for legally enforceable agreements. It, it is applicable. Yes, that is the so point. Legally, legally enforced agreements are contracts. So, I, see, why I am giving this such a question is, a question can be asked in the true and false statement also. They may critically may point it out. So, I want to teach you the, the, soft, the, the, the equation so that you could use it when such a question is asked. That is my intention. And when you come to the matter of, uh, see, this is the next, what is the tomorrow? That is the 38th Ele Easement Act and the Telangana State Land Encroachment and Buildings Control Act for tomorrow's work. But before, the Cisco Webex closes. I would like to show you the act because in the act also they may ask you and generally this is said to be the can you say it's a preamble? Yes, sir. An act to define and amend the law relating to certain kinds of specific relief. This is the long title. Yes, it also be a long title also in another way. But enacted by Parliament in the 14th year of the Republic of India as follows. Generally, the two is the definitions. And definition part is given in the two. And they may ask sometimes settlement, trust, 
what is the saving of third is the saving class i already told you and uh, when you scroll it and better you can go to the summary it is very easy to make it out rather than going for this one the summary where we can be short there you need not to go the full extent of the thing ah, hey, this is not listening sometimes I, I want to drag it fully but it is not dragging then i have to scroll it one after oh and here it is dragging is there yeah the act itself is the specific relief act the is written not and we generally read sr act the right exact word of the specific relief act is the specific relief act 1963 i did not ask you what is the act number anyone what is the act number 47 47 yeah. of 63 47 of 1963 yeah it will be given in that explanation you see the part 1 there are only four sections are there and the part 2 they may ask in that one part 1 preliminary part 2 specific relief and in part 2 how many chapters are there supplementary question see chapter 1 recovering the possession of a property chapter 2 specific performance of a contract and uh, if you scroll on like that uh, chapter 3 rectification of instruments chapter 4 rescission of contracts and chapter 5 cancellation of instruments chapter 6 declaratory decrees and uh, how many chapters are there in total how many chapters are there in total in part 2 four chapters are you sleeping six, six chapters but why you are not giving the six answer that is, that is shown on the screen that is shown on the screen six chapters sir. yes that's my point but you are giving sir your sound travels late no sir that's why we are giving the late answer but we told but the travels late no that's why you heard late <laughs> okay these are the supplementary question probability would be there to ask it see if you happen to see chapter 3 only one section is there and that is 36 preventive relief how granted it is only one section is it one section no chapter 3 is the one section that is section 26 not part 3 chapter 3 in chapter 3 there is only one section i will scroll you there yeah that is only 26 where instrument may be rectified chapter 3 so why i am showing this thing means probability would be there they may ask how many chapters are there in the part 2 the answer is six chapters very good very good then the part 3 preventive reliefs it start from chapter 7 and where injunctions come and it is an important in which chapters injunctions will come how many types of injunctions you know it three types what are they temporary perpetual mandatory injunctions there is a prohibitory injunction also there and uh, our kolikonda sharad babu has made quit timet injunction and there is another injunction minerva injunction minerva m i e r v a minerva injunction in other words we can say freezing injunction so injunctions are injunctions are which type of it is the preventive reliefs injunctions are is the preventive reliefs and here they have mentioned only temporary a perpetual injunction and that are always that given a, before the actions from the other side yes yes so they don't ask you that much but they ask only the injunction which is mentioned in the act itself temporary and perpetual injunction is given in which section of the sr act then what is the answer 37 37 seven section is the answer so chapter 8 is perpetual injunctions 
They may ask you, perpetual injunctions are given in which chapter? The answer is chapter 8. Chapter 8. So, this is the way that uh, we can also go to. And where the mandatory injunction is given in the which section? 39. Mandatory injunction is given in the section 39. See here, uh, I made it here, highlighting it. The mandatory injunction is given in the 39 section. And the injunction when refused, it is given in the 41 section. And 42 section, injunction to perform negative agreements. And I already gave the question that is 43 and 44 repealed. It is Repeat. The participants are thorough with the summary. They can easily recall the sections. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, now they, they know the, all the techniques. Before the host give the four options, they are shooting in the middle only. <laughs> because they know the technique now. And that's why sometimes we should not give the options. And they have to shoot it. At the time, it is the right way of shooting. So, see, this is the Act Number Forty-Seven of the Nineteen Sixty-Three. Just before somebody told, but again, it may ask when it will be enforced. Supplementary question. First March Nineteen Sixty-Three. Yes, uh, of course, uh, there are many other things are there. But uh, I don't know the Cisco WebEx is very much kind enough towards you. Otherwise, it will not give more than 50 minutes. And when you say saving class, I think, I already uh, you. They might have noticed uh, your name and they are giving extension for your teaching work. I should be very much thankful because this is a daily customer. <laughs> a customer, he doesn't know. Yes, Sunday, Monday, a public holiday. Privileged customer. This customer doesn't know Sunday, Monday, a public holiday. It's so specific relief. Customer means. Yes. See here the specific relief given in the part two. And they may ask also the supplementary question in that manner. So, Sharad Babu, do you want to comment anything? Uh, no, sir. Um, right now, I don't have any okay. comments. Motamari Vidya. Sri Vidya, are you present? Yes, sir, I'm present. Any any remarks? No more comments, no more comments. No, so sir. Tomorrow I'm preparation sorry. that you will make it ready. And I also make it ready so that uh, let me make our class as a participatory class. But one, one request is there. And uh, let the host will read the total four options. Later, you can shoot it. That is the very good idea. You are already kind enough to permit us to read, sir. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, that is only because today somebody shoot in the middle only. <laughs> so with this, I would like to stop. Thank you very much. And uh, Asante Sana, that is a Kiswahili word. Thank you very much. Have a good day. And
सारे जहां से अच्छा हिंदुस्तान हमारा जय हिंद